Godot's physics engine is being completely rewritten for Godot 4.0. Just recently, a Godot contributor called Camille has been hired part-time to rewrite and modernize Godot's 3D physics engine. Originally, Godot had its own in-house physics engine built from scratch, but it was difficult to maintain and so it was replaced with a third-party physics engine called Bullet, which is what the current versions of Godot are using. And while Bullet is a very well-established and capable physics engine, it looks like it's going to be replaced with yet another custom game engine specific to Godot. The main idea behind this change is to streamline the physics engine and make it more reliable. Over the next six months, Camille will be working on rewriting this new physics engine and making it feature complete. Some of the planned features include soft body physics to simulate physics objects that can deform and jiggle, cylinder shapes, height map shapes, and a very interesting new feature called buoyancy, which is for those times when you want to simulate objects floating in a liquid or some other substance. Over the years, people have noticed some weird issues with Godot's physics. There's a good chance you've experienced some of them yourself, and so Camille will be working to fix those issues as well. The 2D physics engine isn't going to change much since it's already a custom engine and pretty well optimized, but there will be some small improvements made to that as well. One question you might have is, will you still be able to use bullet physics if for some reason your project Project really relies on it? And the answer is yes, it will be available as an official plugin once the switch is made, and there's even plans to add plugin support for a whole bunch of different physics engines, and so that's something that you might be interested in. On a slightly different topic, it appears that Juan is about to start working on adding some highly requested features to Godot, including occlusion calling, which is something that most modern game engines have that is sadly missing from Godot. Once we have it, it'll be yet another tool that you can use to improve the performance of your games, and it'll bring Godot more in line with the industry giants. Ultimately, all of these changes you can expect to arrive on the release of Godot 4.0 or in a future 4.0 update. And so yeah, we're going to be waiting a little bit longer, but not that much longer. Lots of exciting things coming to Godot, and I think people are really starting to take notice. Things are really looking good. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, bell, links to my Twitter and Discord down below, and as always, have a nice day.